Hello and welcome back to Sports with Dummies. In today's episode, we're doing a preview of round 10, Sir Douglas Nichols round in the AFL. To start us off, Johnny, we've got Gold Coast versus Geelong Cats. Will the Cats lose three in a row, Johnny? This is an interesting one. So the Cats have lost the last two. They've rested Hawkins. Sorry, managed. Dropped Duncan, got rid of Stanley. So they brought in Brun, Neil, um... And Conway, as the, as the Ruckman, I've talked to a lot of Geelong supporters. They are over Stanley. They never rated him when they won a flag. Okay. So it's going to be very interesting. Now, they've played – these teams have played 15 times. There is another out in that. Who's, Cameron. And Cheers Charlie Cameron. Cameron went out with the Cheers concussion up. too. So I would tend to say would they lose their third. So they've played 15 games in the short crew of the Gold Coast Suns. Yeah. Geelong have won 12. Gold Coast have won three. The three games that Gold Coast have won – They've been the home side, so they've never gone come and, to Melbourne and won. Yeah, they're not playing even at Metricon though. They're playing in Darwin. It's very, it's it, that, that is very different. It's a very different game. Weather's Go- probably the same, arguably. Could be or probably it bit, might be even more. It would be more humid, I would have thought. And a bit more. Yeah, I was going to say wet might be. I don't and they know beat how them. They there. beat them last year in Gather Round as well. Um, at one of the Adelaide Ovals as well. Look, Geelong. The, 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 the aging players, you know, that's clearly why Hawkins, he's kicked one goal in five weeks. Clearly not. Duncan, he's one of the aging stars. Mm. Dangerfield's out. Um, Big out is Cameron. Cameron's huge for them because he plays Jezza Cameron. He keeps Jezza in Charlie. Cameron. I was like, Charlie. And I'm do you, like, know, and do you know what's like, funny? When I say Charlie, I say Jeremy when I, we're talking about Carlton too. Yeah, and I think it's Charlie Cameron Brisbane, but then Charlie Kerr. I'm getting yeah. No, we just we just we just completely we're just off the, trying to we're confuse the viewers out there. Yeah. <laughs> um, if, if Gold Coast have been all right in their home games this year, yeah. um, and they did beat Geelong last time in Adelaide for Gather Round, even that sentence sounds weird. I don't think Geelong are going to lose a third in a row though. No, I mean they're coming off. Two very close losses to two pretty good teams too. Yeah, You're Melbourne and Port. That's true. You know they're not losing. They haven't. They lost by like their losing margin is eight points against Melbourne and six against Port. And arguably Port Adelaide that could have been a lot worse than it was. Fifty so, points down. And I mean Suns are coming off a, a confident win against North up at you know up at home game People's Choice Stadium. If I got that right, I yeah. used to call it Metricon. Uh, I think. I think it's a bit too hard for Gold Coast. I think Geelong, regardless of their, well, I guess. Well, oh, but then I, I can't. You know what? This is pro- this is a perfect storm for the Suns. What you but, talk but, about and keep talking about and saying, if they're going to show that they're a team that w- are going to be top eight contenders, this is a game they actually should win because Geelong have a lot of big outs. That's that is absolutely fair. Um, it's going to be humid. It's not cold, rainy Geelong. No. This should suit them, but I still think I think Geelong by 15 points. 15 points. Yeah, I, if I, on my tips, I don't think I can go Gold Coast. Yeah. I think I've got Geelong. I reckon it's probably going to be about three, four goals. Okay. I can't see it being. Yeah. It's going to be an average game conditions-wise. Like it's not going to be quick. If it's it going was... to be, and it's going to be Thursday night too, so it's going to be it's it's going to be a little bit slippery too. The humidity, it's yeah, it's going to be an it's going to be an interesting game. If it was home for them, different story. Yeah, I might have actually flowed with the idea of tipping Gold Coast, but I just think that Gold Coast came down and played Bulldogs at some wet, random stadium earlier on Ballarat, in the year, Ballarat, Ballarat, Ballarat well, and got absolutely pantsed. Well, I don't think Gold Coast have won out of home. No, they haven't won. They haven't. They haven't won out of home. I'm, I'm if I'm. Not mistaking, I don't think they've won outside of Metricon. Gold Coast win this though; they're tenth at the moment, five and four. Like, I mean, you look at Geelong, second on the ladder, only got the two losses, which have been the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. They need to bounce back and really win this one. It's a big game for them. It's an important game for both. It's weird how mm-hmm. they managed a few players. I mean, Hawkins didn't Hawkins. perform as much. What was it? Was his um? He took well, the reins he, of. Well, he equaled uh, the, the record games. of Selwood. Oh, he equaled it. Well, did he equal or break it? I thought he broke it. Oh, well, he broke Sorry, it, with, whichever. But wrong. he's kicked one goal in five weeks. So but he's been playing for a very long time. Duncan's out. But, yeah, um, I don't think the Cats will lose. Probably needs a bit of a break. That brings us to Friday night's game. Sydney plays the Blue Baggers. What Johnny do Carlton have to do to win this game? Because they're going up to the SCG. 
how are they going to how are they going to take the cake home? Well, Sydney. This is how this is how Carlton. This is how I think Carlton is going to win. We've already started off horribly. So Matty Cottrell, our best runner, out for four or five weeks. Jack yep. Martin, who just came back, did his calf. I was talking to someone today saying, oh, Martin's going to be a good addition because you're, you've are you got a great duo in mm. Kerno and Mackay against Sydney's defenders and you're going to outperform and Martin's a good addition with a bit of height. Mm. And then you've got Owies in the forward line who can, you know, a bit of spark and it's going to be hard for them to manage the, the matchups. Did you, Martin's out. Martin's done the calf, so three, four weeks. So oh. we've already so we've lost our best runner and one of our clutch players in Cottrell. Martin goes out. Um, but that's fine. We've been dealing with injuries all, all week. Swans are, cl- are the clear best sides. You've got 15 players out on your injury list. Yeah, we've got 30% of our prelim side not st- who made the prelim not in. So how oh, we beat God. so how we beat Sydney. So Sydney are the clear best side, which we've which we've spoken about. They're a game on top, 30%. Most informed team most in, informed. The, in the league. Yes. Um, how Carlton win? We've been dealing with injuries all year, so yep. I'm not too concerned. Cotters is a big one, but Martin plays every fucking one in every four games anyway, so not too reliant on him. What helps us is we're on a small ground. Our stoppage and clearance work. Oh, we're gonna. We just need to be elite. We need to keep lowering our eyes like we did in those first three quarters against Melbourne. Yeah. Um, and I'd like to see Charlie continue to play up the ball. Well, you guys play, take take McCartan up the ground. McCartan's out, so you guys actually have a good. This is what I'm trying to say. You've got a good ability. And with I your think duo. And, and Warner's out <clears> as well. <throat> um, we just need to sort of what we did to GWS. Monster him at the clearances. Monster him at the stoppages. Lower our eyes. Don't just bomb it long. But we really should be – because it's a small ground, we should – you get a quick kick out of the centre at the MCG. It still takes a couple of kicks to get a deep forward. SCG, you, you go for a run around. You can get a deep forward pretty quickly. We need to take advantage of the clearances. That's how Carlton's going to win. Yeah, I I personally don't think Carlton are going to win this one. I didn't tip I think, Carlton. You didn't tip him? No. Oh, I think it's going to be too hard. Sydney at Sydney. They're, they came out with a vengeance after their loss mm-hmm. and they had the bye against Richmond and now they're, I think they're, they're on another level. Yep. And I think you, we spoke about it on what was a Monday, just their, I mean, the players, the calibre of players they have by foot. The only chance you guys do have is if maybe Charlie Kerno can ramp it up, maybe not in the third quarter. <laughs> get, it, get it start earlier. His third quarters. I mean, we, you look at it, the Brisbane game and we're eight goals down. He turned it on. Game against um, Adelaide, GWS. Um, I mean, last, second half against Melbourne, he was fantastic. Yeah. Um, I would like him to kick a goal. You know, to start in the it first off. Half. But when he hasn't been cutting the slack, Mackay, Mackay's the one who's standing up. We just really just need to attack him on this small ground. It's gonna be a great matchup, Pitnet and Grundy. You got yeah. Grundy, Grundy, who's you know, him, him and Gorn are the best Ruckmans in the league. And Pitnet's having some sort of month. He's leading clearances for the Ruckman, which is amazing considering he only got brought into the side in round five because of our injury list. Yeah. No, he's done, a, he's done an incredible job for you guys considering how many injuries you guys have had. You still are such an undermanned team and you're coming up against teams that, you know, like Sydney, you guys are seventh, Sydney are first. It's going to be hard to beat them. Uh do you have who you you said you tipped? I think the Swans, but the Swans by twelve points. I think it's gonna be real close. Yeah. I think it's gonna be like a kick in it. Yeah. I mean, the last time you guys play, you won by a kick. Yeah. I just well, well, and and remember the last time we beat them was in the qualifying final. Carlton had won our first, won our first final in you know over a decade. Um, we play Sydney all right. We play Sydney all right, and I think. Ironically, the SCG actually helps our cause with their elite ball users because it's a smaller ground, which we can take advantage with our bigger bodies. The last two times you played the SCG, you've lost. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's, ca- <laughs> man, it's Carlton. But you guys if, you look, if you look at the history before round 15 yeah, last year, say, you we got shit. a losing record to everybody. <laughs> It was actually like I really screwed myself there because I just walked into it. I was like, wait a sec. You guys weren't good until round 15. It's like when people like, people are like, oh, you're Carlton's record in the last five years. I'm like, yeah, we lost all the time. 
It's like, who didn't we lose to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that brings us to the next game. We had Coll- we have Collingwood play the Adelaide Crows. Now, given Johnny, given Colling- Collingwood's injury list, their growing injury list, which is pretty shitty to see, do the Crows actually have a chance? Well, how, how interesting is this? That Carlton and Collingwood, are we racing for the premiership? Or who's got, who's got, who's got the biggest who's injury, got the list? injury list? Can, can I just run through it quickly and I'll give my answer? So Aiden Begg hurt his knee. Bytel concussion, Carmichael Hunt concussion. To go is a test. Um, Elliot's going to miss this week. Jeremy out. How that's huge. Two to three weeks. He's such an important player for him. McQuarrie's still out. He hurt himself. McStay, we know, you know, he's gone for the year. My check did his hammy against Carlton. Todd Mitchell's a test. Um, they're gonna Collingwood are gonna win this one, and it's not gonna be close. And the answer I'll tell you why is Adelaide last week went up against Brisbane, who had two players on top of Coleman do their ACL again. At home, Brisbane aren't in good form and they couldn't win that one. Mm. I give them no chance to beat Collingwood. Dacos is going to have a field day and Collingwood are going to win this five, six goals. I give Adelaide <clears> no <throat> chance. So they, the last three games they play, they're actually very, very close. I don't know if you've looked at their form against yeah. one another. Now, that doesn't necessarily take into account the form guide. I mean, Collingwood are arguably equal second or you could call it equal third with the Bombers on their form. Four wins and a draw. That is the, the, the second or the yeah. probably should call it yeah. equal third in terms of form. Adelaide have just been shit. Mm-hmm. Like you would have thought they'd come up against Brisbane, get the win over at home. They have won, the, you know, through – Three out of five with a draw and a loss. I don't think it's going to be an absolute pumping. I think it's at the G. I think, I think that's it's going to be. And that's why I think <clears> it's going to be uh, pumping. And what they've, what Adelaide, what Adelaide have to do to try. Is this a Saturday day try- or a Saturday night? It's a Saturday day. It's Saturday day. What Adelaide have been horrible this year with is interceptors, is allowing back lines to dominate them. Um, you know what? Bri- Brisbane's back line destroyed them. Aish, um, the Fremantle's back line had them covered. Darcy Moore could have a field day on the weekend. Darcy Cameron's number one for intercept marks um, for Ruckman, um, yeah. for the Pies. Um, th- they had a chance to beat a lesser side in Brisbane who had a lot of injuries too. Collingwood had injuries against Carlton, took took us apart, um, finished us off. Collingwood are going to win this pretty easily. I think they've got too good a list. Like we said, you could even though you were talking about all the injuries they have, you're like, it's still they've still got so many good players. You go through like, Collingwood and Carlton, and none of us use excuses for losing because of injuries when we could. It's funny it's because a mentality. Yeah, and not only that, it almost enables the better players to stand out even more. Yeah. Like you'll have day, the Dacos brothers will just dominate. So if Sidebottom in or is he side injured? Bottom, so, I mean, Collingwood, this is a master move. Um, they put Sidebottom off the half-back line last week, absolutely dominated. Pendlebury's last Pendles, month, yep. he's, he's returned back to his some form. Pendlebury is not going to dominate round, 24 rounds. You've got to take him when he is. He's managed himself in. He's killing it. Easy win for the Pies, five goals plus. You heard it here. It's actually going to be so hard. I just – I don't know why. I just think these two – I mean, not even a kick has separated the last three games. And the last time they played was at the G as well. I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, every time, though, Collingwood have got the win. So I guess if you're, if you're a tipping man or a betting man, you've got to look at that and go, I'm going to just give Collingwood the win. I don't actually think it's going to be big. I don't think it's going to be as much okay. as – what did you say, 30? Five goals plus. Pretty big. It's gonna be. It's gonna be smacking. All right. Next game, Saturday afternoon. You got the Giants play the Doggies. Which team is under more pressure, Johnny? Because the Giants, they, they've dropped off. Bulldogs are like a bloody yo-yo. They don't understand when they're gonna play good or they're gonna play bad. If they're gonna put the right selection list in, are they gonna have the right? You know, it does, they don't ever know. Who's under more pressure? Who's under more pressure? Bulldogs. 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 So Bulldogs are very, as you said, up and down. Yep. Giants need to – Giants aren't in great form. But the, the Giants lose – two wins and three losses of the last five, both teams. That's correct. Um, if the Giants lose, they're still in the pack. The Doggies lose, they are compl- completely off. Now, they come off a good win against the Tigers – the good thing of these two teams have a little bit of a rivalry, and in the last three games has been has been a, cl- a cumulative win of twenty five points. 
It's an average of eight points. So there's only going to be a couple of kicks, kicks in, in it. it. They're both elite users when they want to be. Both are f- GWS have been the worst side in the last six weeks for defence from back 50. They've been the easiest side to score against. Dogs have been shit defending this whole time that they've had their list. It's going to be a free flowing game. The, I, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be closer. I think we spoke about this off air that this is going to be closer than I think. But the bo- dogs are going to be under massive pressure. Mm. Much more pressure if they lose because the Giants lose. They're probably still in the eight. Dogs, they, you know, they come back. You know, they're further back. Well, the dogs currently sit eleventh, four wins, five losses. The Giants sitting six and three. Regardless of their history, they're all that crap. I, I can't go past looking at the Giants. Yep. I think that they need to make us. This is their time to make a statement. Like you said, if, if doggies lose, they're, they're under more pressure. But realistically, you can't. I don't look at them and go, you know what? It, it is a hard one from a tipping standpoint. But I just look at the Giants. I think their manpower, they've just got to get their attitude right. Yep. I think that's what you said. You know, the way that they really drop off. Like last week against Essendon, they completely dropped off. Essendon's possession and contested ball, they just all over them and they had nothing. They had absolutely no fight, nothing to give and they were, you know, they were winning. So I actually think and they were held pretty scoreless after really halfway through the second quarter. So and, and that's and that's and that's a pattern um, yep. that happened against Carlton, happened against Sydney. Um, but those are th- those are pretty good sides. The Dogs... Do they, they, when, have they won the they have a, the, like dogs, the dogs have a, the dogs aren't Depends. winning back to back games and they had their win against a very easy Richmond side yeah. um over in Sydney I think they're going to be get done yep no I completely agree it depends on the western bulldogs that show up on the day then we have the saints play the dockers now it is set in a different way i don't actually have the the names mm-hmm. uh is ross the boss under pressure if the Saints lose. No, he's not. Um, he's becoming eccentric, the old Ross. And he's had everyone fooled. They won their first. They made a finals last year. They didn't win a final. They've been one of the most disappointing clubs. Um, but well, they've had, since him, they've had shit coach after shit coach after shit coach. They've just been shit. They don't have an A-grade player. I think we bought into, I know I did, you know, Ross the system. Um, Max King looks uninterested. Um, again, who are the A graders? I know still Marshall, maybe Wanganeen Malira. They're just, you just, they're just a boring, boring football club. But in saying that though, who else are they going to go for? So I think Ross is safe. Yeah. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll continue to see him. I think it's can more he work, can it's a he, list. Can he work? Some magic, but you're just seeing excuses like, you know, we don't have enough runner messages going out and it's just like... No, you just have a shit team. You just have like a shit I, team. I can't put it in but, way. But what happened, they were using that ball from half back line when they started the year and they've just they've just done nothing. Teams have picked Sinclair, that apart. Sinclair was, was one of my favourite players to watch, being horrible. Hmm. What just, happened to him? He's just, just, just they're not, not performing. Yeah. I mean... Higgins has been out. He's going to be out until, what was it, I think around close to round 15. I think he's in an inj- on his injury around 11. Sorry. He'll be coming back. Um, yeah, I don't think. I've never been. I wasn't impressed with Saints at the start of the year. Doesn't, no, everyone you called was, it, jo- everyone Josh. Was you called it. Thank you. You called it. Thank you. You called it. You, uh, didn't, buy, didn't, you, didn't, buy, you didn't buy into it. Well, I didn't well, understand do, what do, we're do, buying do because you know, there was no you, – we looked at the list and we d- analysed every single list and then you went through St Kilda and you went, Do you know why? Do you, do you know why, though, you didn't get the you, – you're not getting get the complete kudos for that and it's hard to know what you actually thought because you had GWS, Carlton, Melbourne not making the finals. Yeah, who, who did my tips for me? <laughs> Some, some kid <laughs> took my... Um, but you were right on this one, so I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that could one. Could you imagine if GWS don't... Like, could you imagine if I, like some of these actually work for me? Because it's such an open league. Like we have, we have made it very evidential. I mean, Richmond, West Coast, North are definitely not making any form of finals. Correct. They're shit. They're Correct. in the bottom. They're Correct. staying there. Sydney are clear top. I don't think any of us had them there. They had, we had them f- fifth to eighth. We had them in that. We had them in that fifth to eighth column. Um, Colin, Sydney, was, Sydney were the hardest ones. Brisbane Colin, have been the the biggest letdown. Adelaide have been another letdown as well. 
But anyway, we're, we're, we're digressing. Yep. Let's jump into the next game, guys. Just bear with me for a quick little second. That brings us to, speaking of Brisbane, Brisbane play Richmond. That's actually a right game. This, this brings for, up... For, Lions for, need this for, game, don't they? It's for the eight. Well, this is their... So they had a... We thought they got their mojo back. Remember they had that North Melbourne tune-up game at the start of the year after the last three? Yep. Um, Danaher, Cameron, Charlie Cameron, um, <laughs> and Hitwood kicked... I think they kicked 12 between them. Yep. Um, and I did a little bit of... And you thought they were coming back, got smacked by GWS, another draw. Now, they've been decimated by injuries now. They've got four players off with ACLs. That's pretty. That's pretty bad. That's they're bad injuries. So, is there a little bit of pressure on expectations within their club? Can they make it? They're not that far away. Now, I've gone and looked. They need this is this is the perfect moment, like the North Melbourne game for Danaher, Hipwood, and Charlie to come back. Now, I looked at so last year, so this year, so last year between them per game, they averaged six goals. This between year, all three. Between all three. That's As incredible. a collective. Yeah, yeah. Now they're averaging just under four. That's a big yeah. So the one one a game. They're averaging one a game. So there's you're almost six um thirty there's like a forty percent difference. Hmm. This is the top uh, against a very weak Richmond side. This is the weakest Richmond side since Damien Hardwick took over. This is the time where Richmond, I mean Brisbane, can hit back. They're at the Gabba. They haven't been great at the Gabba though. They've won one game at the Gabba. They surely couldn't lose this, could they? If they lose <laughs> Fagan gets fired. I actually don't know what because they've got such good players, and I understand they've been uh, injury ridden, and you got to look at that. And as soon as Coleman went out, you called it. Coleman went out. The game changed against Carlton when you said that when Coleman took you guys apart. As soon as he's done, how long is he out for the whole year? He's gone for the year. He's gone for the year. That that half back for them, that role is. I mean, it's not well, there at the minute, and well, it's. Well, We'll talk about it. We'll talk about injuries then. Um, so obviously, Will Ascroft hasn't been in all year. No. Um, Bailey's out for a week. So Coleman gone for the season. Dode out for the season. Darcy Gardner out for the season. Lincoln McCarthy out for the season. Starcevich three to four weeks. Like and like not like the Carlton Collingwood where you know some of them will come back. That's four four ACLs. Yeah, and they're big. They're big players for them. Yep, like that's, they're huge. That's, ma- that, that, that's massive. But, um, but let's take take it aside. They're not playing Carlton this week. No, they're playing Richmond. They're playing the worst Richmond team I reckon we've seen in since Hardwick <laughs> took over. Yep, yeah. the Danny Frawley days. Yeah, hell the early two. So, well, Richmond won the spoon. Was it 05? It's a while. It's, it's been a, the early 2000s, Danny Frawley, then they had Derry Wallace. Then that was, that was a horrible experience for them. Um, Look, they had their run. They had their run. They won their, their flags. They're not doing a Geelong and Sydney no. and reloading. Um, this is going to take a lot of time. Yeah. Um, but Brisbane still should win this game. It's actually a really interesting point about Richmond, though, because they are going to lose. I mean, Dusty's coming up to an age where he's going to be moving on. Gold Coast. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. I don't think anything's been talked about with Dusty in the media. It's like we all know what's happening. Well, the C, the um, the president, CEO, whatever you want to call him, Brennan Isn't he Gale. floated to go to well, he, Tassie. No, well, signed. Oh, he signed it. He signed. <laughs> he signed. So I mean, he's when gonna, the president he's, leaves. I mean, he's done. He did his. He did, he his, did his job. They're a rich, powerful club now. You know, he's taken over. But um, nah, Brisbane need to win this. And look, and fair enough that Gale would do that because he probably wants a new venture. Go new down, challenge, change, new challenge. Yeah, new and challenge. And it's growing the game. I don't, I don't think anyone in Richmond holds no. that against him. No, not at all. Um, yeah, I think I've got Brisbane. You know, what? I reckon Brisbane fifty points. Fifty points. I reckon they're going to come out and really show yeah, us. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think you're right. That brings me. To my beloved Bombers taking on North at Marvel Stadium. How much will the Bombers win by? Now, last two times, Johnny. <laughs> last two times. Yes. Essendon have played North. I think there's like, you know, you said some 20. What did you call it? A 25 win margin or like across the. Or I think it was a close game, was it not? We, no, no. It was literally like we've only won the last two games by like. Under 10 points each mm, time. Mm. So hopefully, based on our percentage, it'd be great for us to win by like 60 
to 80 points, but the odds aren't looking promising. Well, I've got some data. Oh, what now? The North's biggest loss ever was against Richmond in 1931 by 168 points. Their biggest loss to Essendon wasn't that far along ago. It was their qualifying final in the year 2000. The score was 198 to 73. That's Essendon's biggest winning margin against North. Now, this is the worst side I've ever seen, this North Melbourne side. You guys aren't scoring a lot at the moment. No, that's why. That's your only... What's ironic, you were scoring better when you were losing... And now you've you've tightened up your, 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 your you're in scrappy games. Can I just say, yeah. Essendon are third. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. What's what's the what's the what is what, happening? What's sports? What's sports bet? <laughs> <laughs> what's sports bet? What does it say? One dollar to ten. <laughs> Do you put? <laughs> so I reckon the Bombers <clears throat> are going to win <clears throat> by fifty points. Well, I mean, look at the last five games for North. They're losing by a minimum of like 60. How many did you say? 50. It's bullshit. 50 points. No, I agree. I reckon it's actually only going to be like 30 or 40. Well, this is uncomfortable with. <laughs> last time you played him, you only just beat him. I know this. Uh, look, I, I, mate, I'm worried we'll lose. <laughs> you won't lose to North. <laughs> you know you what, won't though? Lose to this North. Is, these are the games where every Essendon supporter, and please jump in if you're in the comments watching and you are a Bomber supporter. The games where you're like, we should flog them. And then you sit there watching, either watching the game or watching the app on your phone, and you're like, the fuck is going on here? It's like West Coast. We we're like, we should pump them. That one I had a feeling about. That one I had a feeling it was over West Coast. West Coast are playing. The thing that North is being a Carlton supporter, I remember a few years ago, North had been shit for ages, and we were. this is when we were shit too. Larky took a hold of us and he kicked seven. Yeah. Could he do Could he do that? Well, Mackay's on him. Mackay against his old side. It's good. He's going to get booed by three North supporters. <laughs> 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 you're gonna hear the, you're gonna hear the cheers. Uh, bombers by I think bombers by fifty points. You're playing uh, what what? And I think um, Brad Scott will like to see this. Is to it's very easy to take this game easy. easy. You just haven't achieved anything. You're doing really well. This is where you actually hone in Go how good gear. your game playing yeah. is. Which means don't try to win by hundred points. Just keep your systems and processes and beat them by two hundred and twelve. Make it like what you said. Keep your game plan. Make it like a training drill. Yeah. Like realistically, just keep look at it like a train. Yep. Keep the intensity. North are going to throw a couple of jabs. They actually pl- have played you guys. Re- you know they play us players, well. I don't know. Play, it's like they match up well. well. So, but well, we've got Goldie and Mackay. Goldie's mm. next. Yeah, and then well, there's Goldie too. as well. Yeah. I mean, he's one of their best ruckmans of all time. So, um, that gives it some reason to watch the game. It gives us a, Are you a, going? Essendon a great. Are you going? No. Yeah, no, gives okay. Essendon a good reason to bloody pump him is what it is. Show you Mackay and Goldie going from, you know, a team and going, hey, we're in a better throw, squad throw right now. Harry up full forward. <laughs> you mean, do you uh, mean Ben? No, he's going to be Harry for the oh, day. Oh, he's going to be Harry. <laughs> you know what? I don't know how good Ben is at kicking, but I'm quite curious because his hands are very similar. I know you said Harry one-on-one apparently when they played when they were younger. Harry was definitely the better player. Um One's a forward. The forward's always better. It's got way more skills. We know this. Ben's pretty good. He is very good. I reckon, I mate, I reckon he's probably talking. got the same sort of yips and the same sort of... He's got the same kicking Aaron style. Aaron kicking at 70% this mate, year they're from set shots. And they've never played each other. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Anyway. But every, so every time they <clears> go <throat> to play each other, someone comes out. So there's a theory that they're the same person. Could you imagine... If like I they, could. Have you looked at them? <laughs> they're bloody identical. Exactly. They're literally the exact same. <laughs> they mark the same too. They talk anyway. Brings us to the next game: Port versus Hawks. Well, I don't even really want to talk about this game, but Port must make a statement for this, right, Johnny? And the reason why is because Hawks are playing with a bit of spunk at the moment. Yeah, that's Wins true. Over the they've, lost, they've won the it, last two. This is the game where. How hard is we, – we were talking about this yesterday um, on, on All Aboard the Premiership, how you, everyone's – all the hard sides are playing, have been playing in each other and you're going to split 50%, 60%, whatever. These are the ones where – for percentage mm. and you've just got to put this side to the sword because 
Port, I mean, great win against Geelong. Yeah. But it was suspects against Collingwood. This is where, where you got to take advantage and put and put this Hawthorne side. It's in Adelaide. Should be an easy win. Yeah. I feel like for Port, if it wasn't for their loss against Adelaide at the showdown, mm-hmm. it probably would have. I feel like if they had won that, they wouldn't have the sort of, I guess, eyes on them at the minute because I feel like that would have just completely changed where their ladder position is. Well, it's like Carlton's game against Adelaide, ironically, uh, the bogey side for the top sides. You don't. It's weird. They're the team you don't want to play at the moment, especially over there. Like Essendon. Yeah. I mean, that was a fluke. We shouldn't have got that. That was a close game. Very close game. But the Hawks, look, two impressive wins against two sides just outside the eight. I mean, Doggies and St Kilda, they're not two shit teams. When you can, I, I wouldn't guarantee a win against either of those two teams going up against them. No, you only say they're not even guaranteed the because they're playing Hawthorne. No, no, but even in, like, even teams, unless you're... I don't think... Let's not overrate the Bulldogs and St Kilda now. Okay? Let's not overrate the Bulldogs and St Kilda. St Kilda, I've, but I've said this. St Kilda haven't you, lost by like... Un, they, they keep their losses very minimal. And you've said they were a bottom four side for the last three months. Yeah. and Don't um, start I'm now being, changing their tree. Hawthorne, I'm being a typical media Hawthorne, broadcaster, Johnny. Hawthorne it's that did, job. Hawthorne played above themselves to win. Good on them, but let's not pretend they're a great side. Hawthorne, Port should win by 10 goals. And make a statement. We reckon they're going to win by 10? 10 goals. Bloody hell. I reckon, nah. Why did I go English there? I reckon 30. <laughs> I reckon 30. I don't think it's going to be 60. I reckon it's 30. It is over in Adelaide, yeah? So, yeah. I love the way that they play, though. That Over at that, I want to go. We need to go there. It looks awesome. The way that they have the, every time a player kicks a goal, they have their own song going. Did you know that? That's Brisbane, isn't it? No, they do Brisbane and Port. Port, Port do it better than Brisbane. They've got the new attack and all the stuff in the stadium. I'm Optus Stadium, I think it's called. Unless they changed it. That's Perth. Shit. It's called Adelaide Oval. <laughs> Next. Next. <laughs> That's it. Next. <laughs> We're done. Is that every game? That feels real light. Do we do we miss one? We didn't we didn't miss oh, one. We didn't miss anything. Um, Any final thoughts for round ten? Sir Douglas Nichols round, Johnny. I think it's what's uh, match of, actually better question. What's match of the round in I, your opinion? Well, I think I, I think from a ladder position, Sydney and Carlton yeah. from the from the ladder position. But I really think from a spectacle, I'm very excited for the GWS Bulldogs game. Just because they they match up well, they can both use the ball beautifully. Um, from a, for, from an actual footy supporter, that's going to be great to watch. But from you know the contest where they see it, Sydney Carlton, I like none of the games. If I'm being entirely honest, there's, you know there's not like you know when you the Carlton Collingwood Sydney Carlton's a huge game. Yeah, but like Sydney are going to win. That will be close, my friend. Sydney are going to win. No, they'll be but close. Colin Collingwood, you wouldn't be able to call it. I'm changing You're my tip to Carlton. Ridden. I'm changing You're my injury tip. Ridden. We've been injury ridden all year. You just said you have 30% of your players. Yeah, since all the year prelim. we've had that. This isn't new. Yeah, but you're seventh. It's so? They're first. By six games. By the, they're, they're, they're most they lost to Richmond. Team. They lost to Richmond. The mo- they lost to Richmond. We got bigger bodies. I'm changing my Adelaide. tip. We're changing my tip. Carlton are going to win this game because you're being a fuckhead. You're always going to change your tip, weren't you? You liar. <laughs> Lied to the viewers. No, I'm joking. I reckon uh, I like GWS and Bulldogs. It's almost a rivalry. They're always a close game. Both need to win for different reasons. And f- yep. take, take form out. Both of those sides, when they're on, are really good to watch. Mm. Like Giants are awesome. Like that first half against the first mo- most of the first half against your mob. Yeah, they looked super when they moved the f- footy. Oh mate, doggies when they're on look fantastic. So from an actual spectacle, that's the game I am looking forward to watch mm. purely from aesthetic point. But the Sydney and Carlton game has got, I guess you know, we're gonna we're gonna learn a bit. Yeah, did we put our tips in for Saints and Freya? I really feel like we didn't. I'm tipping so after, I don't think we did. after all that. We talked a lot about it. We didn't mention Freo at all. No. Um, <laughs> I actually think Saints, I'm going to go beat over Ruffy. I think the Saints are going to win. 
You know what's interesting? Mm. Betting odds have got Saints up because they're home. And I don't think Frio travel that well and play well at Marvel. So I agree. I reckon Saints are going to get up. Okay. All right, guys. Please place your tips in the comments below. We want to know what you guys are thinking. Want a bit of banter. Have a bit of fun with it. Guys, you know the drill. Please like, subscribe and... Ring the fucking bell. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.